What's up, everybody? I am back with another uh, trip to the movie. So, uh, roll out your popcorn, your beverage of choice, and sit back, because here we go. Uh, this week, or today, I should say, <laughs> we gonna cover um, the live-action um, Jungle Book, and... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Now, I'm going to start with Jungle Book. Because I had heard that the live action um, really wasn't great. Um, so going into it, I really didn't have any um, expectations for it. I just got it because it's a Disney movie and I'm trying to collect all the Disney movies that are currently available before some of those motherfuckers go into ball. Um, <laughs> so, um, but, you know what? While it wasn't the greatest movie I've seen, and it wasn't the best live action, um, maybe for a live action format, wasn't bad, really. Um, you know, everybody knows the story of the Jungle Book, so I'm not going to go through the basic plot of the movie. Um, <coughs> but what I am going to tell you is that the acting was really well done. Um, there were some um, characters in the movie that weren't in the actual um, final version of the um, Walt Disney animated movie. Uh, the one that stands out is the porcupine, and the only reason he stands out is because it was voiced by Gary Shandling, and they had been mentioned that this was, they believed, his last role before he died. I always thought that was kind of, because I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the voice actors uh, were awesome. The little boy that played Mowgli did a fine, fine job. Um, didn't really have to train much for this because he apparently is a red belt in karate, so... They didn't have to train him much for this because he had the uh, movements and stuff. He could kind of adapt those to the karate that he does. And it wasn't much training that had to go on there. So um, I thought it was shot well. I thought the effects were not great, but they were okay. Um, and I thought that... Um, story was well paced. Um, I thought that going in, at least I thought that this was going to be a movie, you know, two, um, two hour 15, two and a half hour movie. Nah, it's way it was well paced. Uh, it was, uh, 150, I believe. And, uh, it was well paced. So I was uh, pleasantly glad to see that. And, um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and give the Jungle Book uh, three and a half wheelies out of five. Um, not the greatest um, live action adaptation uh, that I've ever seen. Not bad either. Um, three and a half wheelies out of five for that. And uh, uh, that brings us to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Um, now, I will be the first to admit that the only reason that I wanted to see this is because, um, Seamus was in it, but my OCD, um, kind of made me have to get it too, because I have the first, uh, the first, uh, um, of the remakes that they did, um, so... I had to get this 
or you could have been completed. And I thought this one was actually better, um, better because they were able to um, incorporate more characters into the movie. Um, you know, Casey Jones, uh, who was played by Stephen Mel, who did an outstanding job. Um, Krang, um, you know, was a big part in this movie. And what I liked about this movie that I didn't really um, see much of the first one was that rather than focusing on, you know, them as a group, uh, you know, storylines with, with uh, the turtles as a group, um, it focused on, or tried to spend a little time focused on each of the four individ individuals, and um, I enjoyed that, and it made me, um, you know, enjoy the film even more. I would definitely recommend seeing it. I'm going to give it four and a half wheelies out of five, and tell you all, if you haven't seen it, you need to. Um, I hope that they do another one. Um, and, you know, this is another one that kind of debunks that, you know, the sequel is not as good, uh, not as good as the first, and in this case, hell, does the first, actually. So, uh, four and a half wheels out of five for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, three and a half wheels out of five for The Jungle Book. Uh, see both of them. Um, I probably will watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again, but The Jungle Book probably is just a one watcher for me. Um, so, there you go. I love you all. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening. Without you, there's no me. So thanks for the support and fostering of the creativity that every last one of you guys does for me. Appreciate it.